Okay guys, welcome to The Collective, GameZone's first of many weekly roundtables where we discuss anything and everything gaming. My name is Mike. This is Matt. I'm Lance. And I'm Mike. Again. Okay, that's not gonna work. Come on. You need, you need a new name. What? Your I'm intern. Mike's my name. Intern, intern Mike. Mike. Intern Mike. That's what it's gonna be. Aww. That's so gotta start right. somewhere, right? So we can't do like Mike number two? No. I'm, I can be the, the poop of Mike. Mike number no, two Mike doesn't number sound two. Intern Mike has a nice ring to it. All right, well, uh, let's actually move on to our first topic of the day, which is Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3. So the latest news is that Battlefield 3 is not supposed to be controversial. Uh, Now, which one is controversial? Call of Duty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys played through Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 and 2. They have levels where you just walk through an airport gunning down Okay, that I had a problem with. So that was the most controversial level. Now, I... No, I think when they're talking about controversial, they're talking about it's not going to be realistic in the sense that you're not going to be going against uh, Iran or Iraq or something. Well, let me me read the the excerpt that was here from, I guess, Edge Magazine, uh, where they said, first of all, it's fiction... We're not trying to base it on any political or religious conflict. Controversy is probably a good marketing tool, but we make games. Our goal isn't to make That's controversy. That's a shot at Call of Duty. Of oh, course. Yeah. Of course. Time. Yeah, of course it is. But at the same time, I mean, you can have a game where you don't fight terrorists. But it is terrorists in this game. Yeah, but it can be like... It doesn't have to be like Islamic terrorists. So when you're thinking that... coming down to. They're saying, I think, that... We're making this game. You've seen it. It looks amazing. We're going to let the gameplay speak for itself. The story is going to be 100, 100% fictional, so they don't... Um, well, that's my question here. Modern off. Warfare 1 and 2, that is based on nothing, is it? I mean, it's fictional, but they use current political like undertones. Now, Black Ops, I know they're trying to... Um, obviously, that whole story is fictional, but they used real life... Yeah. Like Real settings. Events, yeah. I don't find a problem with that. But There's I can nothing see. wrong with a little bit of underlining truth in a game. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I mean, I it is, it is they make a point. Controversy is a good marketing tool, but if you have to rely on it, then obviously the w- gameplay look, is w- good Would enough. we be talking about this if this article wasn't up about controversy? I this actually, article yeah. is controversial. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... The, to be honest, the uh, airport the airport level did draw up a lot of controversy. Right, and that just gave them more publicity. Yeah. So, but in the end, which one do you predict is gonna do better in sales? Call, Call of Duty. Duty. Call of Duty yeah. because Call of Duty. it's there are so many fanboy you know. I think there. the reason why Battlefield Three isn't gonna do as well is because it waited so long for an official for, sequel. Right. I don't think Call of Duty is gonna do good because, or I don't think it's going to do good only because it uses real life things oh yeah no. i don't think that's I, the reason that's definitely not the factor at all it helps it does but it's like but it's like madden would you buy any other football game no right well, because you, madden is so above the rest yeah. that any people other don't even nfl license people don't even, you can't <laughs> people don't even try yeah well, so we're saying but, all right, but battlefield 3 had a huge following like or not battlefield 3 but the battlefield series like uh, right but that's fanboys what i'm saying of that are just as uh passionate right, but about the, Battlefield. But there hasn't been so like a Battlefield in so Which long. Which maybe why it's... I mean, granted, ba- Bad Company, but I don't think we can really... No, that, I don't care. If they, di- if they nail down multiplayer, and they nail down graphics, and then which, make it... Which it does which, look amazing. Which it sounds like it does, and it looks like it does, then then it'll be it'll be a player in the FPS world. Yeah. Alright, so now actually, speaking of... As long as a knife... On, wait, as long as a knife isn't as strong as an <laughs> automatic <laughs> rifle, I'm, I'm gonna like the game. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. All right, so actually, we can stay on the the topic of Call of Duty because now Call of Duty Elite, which is their new, I guess, paid subscription service. Do, did they say how much it's going to be? No, or not yet. N- no, no price points at all. But uh, now the news is that they might integrate it into older Call of Duty titles, which means you're going to be paying monthly, but you get all the DLC for free, and I guess some stat tracking with it. I don't what think they release do you enough think about DLC that? to make that worth it? That's, I mean, one map pack every Black six Ops, months. Black Ops is already on its oh, what third? third? Yeah, their third. One. I don't understand the point personally. If, I mean, if you're a hardcore, if you're like logging your kill streaks into a notebook, yeah, go like from a freak. A, yeah. exactly. Go ahead and pay for this. But yeah, they could fine. they could do it without that. They could just make that a feature. But like, uh, so day, you're gonna have to pay for Xbox Live. 
You have to pay for Call of Duty Elite. You're going to have to pay for the game. Yep. Yeah. You have to pay for your internet service provider. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah, but think of think think like through the eyes of like a hardcore like guy that would play on the MLG. Obviously, you would want to have all your stats tracked. Yeah, right. It stacks your track. <laughs> oh, that, that was not right. It tracks your stats, anyways. Does it? Yeah, Call of Duty. So what you're saying is they're you gonna take away this feature? Yes. yes, but does it give me bar graphs on how many times I've killed <laughs> someone with charts. my third bullet yeah. in a clip? I want like, pie charts. Yeah, pie charts. Okay. I want pie charts. I'm not a fan of it. I don't see the point. So we of all it. think it's pretty much bogus. It's kind of lame. Oh, but it's gonna and have yet, a theater mode. And yet, watch out. And yet, I predict that a lot of people are gonna buy it. You think so? I'm not buying it. There's so many. There's I have I have friends on my friends list who play nothing but Call of Duty you every single day. You already have to pay for so many things. What? No. And I don't buy that whole thing where you're saving money because where you get all the map packs free. They wouldn't do it if they weren't going to be making more money. All right. So none of us agree with it. No. I don't, uh, no. Hands down, it's no. it's it's bogus. I, I love like the it. game, but no, I, I won't buy this at all. Yeah. All right. All right, well, next one is the Sonic fan film. Oh, yeah. Woo! Which actually surprisingly looks pretty damn it awesome. Looks good. Yeah. I was impressed with, with I that. actually saw um I guess Eddie LeBron's first movie, which was the Mega Man fan film. Uh which I really enjoyed. Yes, it looked cheesy, but at the same time, fan it's film. a fan film. It was yeah. impressive. So it was really film. impressive for for being a fan film. Um, they released a teaser. Jaleel White uh, reprises his role as Sonic. I guess he was in the uh, in the cartoon series. I'm not really sure. No. Yeah. yeah. Was he really? He uh, was the guy. He, Urkel. He, yep, Steve Urkel was Sonic Urkel in is the cartoon Sonic. series. Yeah, he's he is he just lost coming cool back point. as Sonic, he and uh, he sounds cool. I mean, he does sound cool. He did sound really. I didn't, to be honest, I didn't know it was him when I first heard dude, it. Look at Family Matters tying into places. Yep. Yeah, Carl yeah. Winslow and uh, uh, Die Hard, and now yeah. uh, <laughs> we play like Six Degrees of Sonic, and then we can tie <laughs> Carl Winslow into Die Hard. John McClane, played by Bruce Whoa. Willis. How do we? How do we get Bruce Wayne to Sonic, though? Bruce Wayne? No, Bruce, Bruce Willis. Willis. Bruce Batman. Willis. <laughs> Batman would be cool. I'm all over the place. <laughs> but, but I mean, this, this the teaser is short. doesn't show anything except for, you know, what Sonic, I guess, is supposed to look like. It he, Granted, he doesn't look, you know, amazing or anything. I think he does. For yeah? It's better than I couldn't do that. No, we're right. Oh. Uh-oh. I think it's time for our weekly song of uh, pure awesomeness. Pure awesomeness. Yeah. Everybody get up and dance. Oh man, I'm not gonna get up and dance this. Who doesn't like this? I don't this want song? my man card taken. I might. I'm dancing so, uh, right now. Do you yeah. remember how popular this how okay. popular the song was? Here's what you have to do. You should be able to tell what song this is, because it's awesome. Figure it out, email us at uh Lebel at gamezone.com. Let me spell that out for you because it's a weird name. L L I E B L at gamezone.com. And uh, text us your answer, who who the uh, artist is, and who, what the name of the song is. Are we going to make is. them do the artist, or are you just going to do the song? Oh, no, no. no. They, Arti- need to do the artist. Oh, they have to. Artist okay. and song they title. Okay. Artist and song title. So, so let's let them listen in a little bit, just in case they don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's where it's at. Macaulay, any song that drops that record. Okay, see, that is dated right there. Like, yeah. Macaulay Culkin is popular. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe we're listening to this. So, yeah. Um, all right. That's where we're going <laughs> to cut it off right there. So, send That's the, the email part. to... Uh, what like Lance said, said before, and uh, L L I E B L at GameZone.com with the name of the song and the artist, and you can win something. What are we gonna? Where are we, what are we giving? What are we giving away for that? Do we want to keep it as surprise? No, I tell him. You want to tell him? Tell him. Tell him. Uh, I think. How about how about this new game we just got in? Yeah, let's do Earth, Earth Defense, Defense Force. Force. Earth right, Defense actually, Force. yeah, let's do let's do three lucky winners since it's a three three player co op game. Uh. We'll uh, give away three copies of Earth Defense Force. Okay. So, t- so three people are going to pick three winners. Yep. All right. And those three better play together. Yeah. So, All right, so hopefully you guys are friends. Let everyone know away. that you won. All right. So anyway, moving on from our <laughs> weekly song of pure awesomeness, uh, let's talk about the new Burnout Crash. 
Okay. <laughs> womp womp. Because when I first heard, it has huge crashes, right? That's what Amazing, you would right? think. That's what you would think. Like the bass style. That's what Whoa. I'm hoping That's for. That's what all the other burnouts are about. But this is apparently an Xbox Live game, and it's a Connect game. So you know, take that for what it is. How do you uh, connect burnout? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure, but sit on the ground and pretend to pantomime this steering I wheel. I saw the trailer. I saw the screenshots. I'm super disappointed because I just wanted a new burnout game, an awesome burnout game, with crazy crashes, and this title. Has the word crash in it. So, yeah, I'm disappointed. I'm Wait, sorry. So you, you can't be disappointed with this game, though, because it is an Xbox Live arcade game. You can't expect something like the original Burnout. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing. When I first saw it, I didn't know it. Was, all I saw was Burnout Crash coming out. Now, it didn't say Xbox Live. didn't say PlayStation. Well, it just said coming you. out. Now they're telling you. So my, help, my hopes were high. And then all of a sudden, Xbox Live. So Maybe I was like, they okay, because it's gonna crash in sales. It's. Uh, I mean, it's. Uh, it, wah, wah, wah. How much are they charging for it? Um, let's see here. It doesn't say. Doesn't yeah, say. I don't know. But, but it will feature three modes, eighteen intersections, and six locations for the players to cause mayhem. Yeah, top down mayhem. Yeah. <laughs> top down. Yeah, it's top down. All right. What's it's an Xbox Live Arcade game. Wait, wait, like game. the old GTA? Yeah. It is an what? Xbox. You guys are too no, hard on this No, it's not. You're you guys are too hard. <laughs> I would I would think it would be okay if it wasn't. Like, you know, the Kinect thing also brings it down. Connect. Why? Why? I love Kinect games, but. Yeah. Come on. I mean, right. it Burnout the crack. Kinect is Come making strides. Connect. And then they it doesn't work. Something right. like this. All right, I'll give you that. But I'm not going to be upset with it because. It's an Xbox Live Arcade game. Um, they're not charging sixty dollars for this, so it doesn't have to be amazing. No, yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I mean, I'm, okay, so so obviously the price point is going to be like either eight hundred to twelve hundred Microsoft point, which is ten to fifteen dollars. Yeah. Um. Okay. All right, and then uh, Wall fans, League of Legends. Oh yeah. We got oh. a new character coming out. Are you ready, Summoners? <laughs> oh yeah. Tell us about uh, Leona the Radiant Dawn, Lance. She is a. Uh, tank, or at least her moves show her to be a tank. So some of her abilities, her uh, passive is called Sunlight, and um, it makes all of Leona's abilities mark the target with Sunlight. Allied champions that damage marked targets deal additional damage and consume the mark. Um, hmm. Her first skill, the Q, is uh, Shield of Daybreak. Leona charges her shield with the power of the sun. Ooh, yeah, everything that's powerful. The sun. Um, causing your next melee attack to deal additional damage and briefly stun the target. By the way, she's going to have a lot of low cooldown stuns and uh, crowd Yeah, that's abilities. huge. Her W skill is going to be Eclipse, and Leona raises her shield and grants her additional armor and magic resist for three seconds. And uh, when the effect ends, uh, it's going to deal uh, area of effect damage and increase the duration of the defensive bonuses by three seconds if she damages an enemy. So, um, I think it's low. That's compared to, like, Karma's skill where it gets oh, her yeah, defense. Oh, yeah, that's right. Except hers is a shield. Right. Yeah. Um, her E is Zenith Blade. She throws a blade of sunlight. How do you throw a blade of sunlight? I so don't know. Really awesome. I'm blade, anxious to see what it, what it looks like. All right. Uh, she throws a blade of sunlight that deals damage to all enemies in a line. And the like last, Shen, similar to Shen. The last enemy that is hit by that attack, she teleports to. So, technically, she could teleport to the middle of of the enemy team and then cast her ult which is solar flare and after a brief delay she calls down a beam of solar energy dealing damage and slowing enemies and enemies yeah. in the center of the beam are stunned instead of slowed so like I said Dang, lots of crowd huge. control or she could start off with the ult stun everyone then yeah. go in there stun them some more she just seems like a bunch of stuns and slows all wrapped into one and uh, I don't have her AP ratios yet for mm -hmm. her skills but um she looks very promising. I'm excited for. Yeah, her. she was supposed. To, I thought she was coming out this week. And she's was, was kind of obviously upset. you have to buy her to play her, right? Well, yeah, yeah. IP or RP. Gotcha. She'll yeah. probably be a 6300 IP. 60 IP. That's um, I don't see her other skins yet either. But her first one, she's she looks she looks badass. She's the first yeah. champion first that is a female, female tank, tank mm -hmm. and the first one with the sword and board. Good for her. So good for yeah. her. Good. Well good, she good looks for cool. the ladies. She looks she's very really breaking the glass ceiling here. Yeah. But I'm excited for her. Is she ginger? She, uh... 
Yeah. She, come on, she's in front of the well, sun. Like, all right. Saying, well, what do you want her to be? Like, I mean, if you're out in the sun all the time, it'd probably be a ginger. All right, so uh, our last topic of the day actually is uh, our Gary Busey versus video game character. Oh man! Now that's a contest we have up right now where um, we list 16 different quotes. I believe it's 16, and yes, it's 16. all of them are pretty ridiculous. And like our Busey. users are supposed to uh, you know guess whether it is Gary Busey or a video game character. He's terrifying. He should that alone, be a video. He, he is, is a absolutely video game terrifying. character. Everyone yeah. hates on him. The man, it, he has issues and problems. He's got a horse mouth. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like. All right. Let me let me uh, let me give you some. Give uh, me, I'll, yeah. I'll give you four quotes: two from a video game character, two from Gary Busey, and see if you guys. All right, find test out. Us. All right. All right. All right. I'm okay. pretty sure I won't be able to tell the difference between between them. I got this. Okay. So here we go. First question. He should play the Joker in the next Batman. He should. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Planet Earth, or as the rest of the Omniverse call it, the Orb of Dreams. Video game character or Gary Busey? I'm gonna go. It's that sounds video. I'm gonna go video game character. Gary Busey. I'm gonna go with video wah, game. Wah. It, it is a video game character. Oh. It's, it's actually intern oh. Mike. Intern oh. Mike. Oh. It's actually oh. narrator oh. Stephen intern. Fry in Little Big Planet. So Wait, who is it? Nar- the narrator Stephen Fry in Little Big Planet. Oh, okay. Um, all right, let's uh, let's see what, That's what, why what, you're else, an what else do we have here. Um, <laughs> this, all is, right. this is the test to become a real uh, game zone employee. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I would no. All right, here we go. Next one. My dark side, my shadow, my lower companion is now in the back room blowing up balloons for kids' pa- birthday parties. <laughs> Sounds at- like something the clown from Twisted Metal would say. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> But at the same time, it's I think it's so ridiculous that it's only something yeah. Gary Busey. Yeah, that's Busey. Gary Busey. That is definitely yeah. Gary Busey. Yeah, sure. I think, I think Gary they're ridiculous Busey. ones. All right, uh, here we go. Never dip lower than you can dip. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's sound advice. A DDR quote or? <laughs> Gary I would say Busey. Gary Busey. <laughs> Gary Busey. I. Go ahead. Go with your gut. Go with it. Uh, go ahead. What are you gonna say? Never dip lower than you can dip. What does that even mean? It, obviously, you don't dip. I put lower my than hands up dip. on your hip. When Wait, you don't dip, dip, you dip. We dip. Uh, I'm gonna go video game character. It is also Gary Busey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. looks like you're intern Matt now. Intern oh. Matt. <laughs> you do. Demoted. Never dip lower than you. Um. All right. Let me pick. Why? I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna pick it because obviously the fourth one would be a video. Let me. Let me. Surprise. I'll. Do, I'll do two more. I'll do two more. All right. Two more. You're yeah, gi- you're giving them uh, free answers. Remember that. They're 16 though. All right. They need a little push. All right. All right. Here we go. Um, that one's too easy. Um, <laughs> ah, video games. What a waste of money. Now to go online and bid one thousand dollars for a set of itchy and scratchy corn cob holders. Terrific, terrific experience. Uh, I don't picture. Gary Busey talking about video games. Yeah, I, I don't picture him putting a sentence that long together. I was going to say. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Um, I'm going to go video game. Yeah, video yeah, game. I don't game. know what character, but I'm going to have to say video game. Video game. But you, sh- you should probably know the universe that it's in, considering it's itchy and scratchy. Oh, it's Simpsons. Yeah, it's, it's the All Simpsons right. hit and run game. Oh. oh. I, yeah, I'll pass. I, I was never <laughs> a Simpsons fan. Sorry. All right, all right. All right, one more. They've been on for a long time. Yeah, why watch Simpsons when you can watch Family Guy do it again? Oh, there it is. (laughs) I love you, Seth MacFarlane. (laughs) (laughs) All right, well, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Uh, Drinking your own blood is the paradigm of recycling. Busey. That's got to be Busey. He drinks his own blood. He's psychotic. Yeah, that is, yeah. Yeah, that's Busey. Okay, yep, that is definitely Gary So the most ridiculous... (laughs) <laughs> things you can think of are are Gary most likely Gary Busey, yeah. <laughs> and you're gonna sit here and tell me the guy. I mean, he does have problems, but <laughs> <laughs> clearly he's he's definitely entertaining to listen to. If anything, Mike, do you want to tell them what they can win from this? Uh, yeah. What? Well, actually, I'll what can them. they win? I think you know. Uh, they, they can win a win. Guinness World Records 2011 Gamers Edition book, and we're giving out uh, eight of those. Eight okay, of them. So That's a lot. Yeah. Eight. So eight. so we can have this eight winners. This contest ends. Uh, July 15th, so... That's soon. Yeah, so next Friday. Week, yeah, it's a week from now. Okay. So, yeah, got a week to get your answers in. All right. What other once again, you email them to my email. So yeah. Do not s- but it's submit easy your on answers the in the comment section because you're just giving it to everyone. Yeah, don't do that. Just click. It's easy. Just click on the Submit Your Answers button. And, and that's on www.gamezone.com. You can find it in the zone. Along with 
we have more giveaways. Actually, yeah. more yeah. giveaways, oh. more free stuff. Tell them we're everything. We're actually giving out a good amount of stuff. We're we crazy. still have Rusty Hearts beta keys that we're giving away. Rusty Hearts. Are they on our Game Zone giveaway page? Um, it's in the zone on the home page. Click on that. Easy to find. It's going to give you d directions on how to do every single giveaway or contest that we have. What else are we giving away? Uh, we're giving away Dream Gear, Quick Shot, plus Dual Trigger Light Gun, Gold Edition for the Wii. Wow. Um, you get that through our uh, Game Zone giveaway Facebook app. Uh, we are also going to have another caption this contest oh. where we have a screenshot of um, Naughty Bear going up and you're going to submit your caption to it in the comments section and what the winner of like that will win say. a copy of Naughty Bear Gold Edition for the Xbox 360. Awesome. Nice. And then uh, also another contest that's about to go up Oh my is god, another one. Yeah. We're, we're crazy. Why can't I win this? Not crazy. We're, we're generous. Alright, generous. Um, we have Dance Dance Revolution for the PS3. Ooh. If you subscribe to our YouTube page. And uh -huh. comment. And comment on our uh, new series it's a new video series we have. It's uh, Master Chief Discharged. Yes. Comment on the first episode, Office Bully, mm -hmm. and uh, that will submit you in order to win this. Compatible with the PlayStation Move, it gives the Whoa. game and the controller mm. inside, which is the dance floor pad. And uh, it's, it's a, a pretty it's nice, a fun sizable dance box. Dance uh, that, game. Look, yeah. for, for subscribing to a YouTube channel and commenting on a video, it you can includes win that. tracks that's pretty sweet. like Bad Romance by Lady Gaga oh, and well, I'm Yours it, by Jason Mraz. It's not even like you have to fill out paperwork. It's an automatic you just sign automatic up win. and you win it. <laughs> I mean, subscribe, subscribe yeah. and comment. All right, guys. Well, this was our first episode of the, our uh, weekly collective. Make sure to tune in next week where we bring you more gaming more awesomeness. More news. All right. Am I still an intern? Yeah. yeah.